You've heard the expression red herring. Have you wondered where it came from and what it really means? Maybe you understand it to mean some kind of deception or misleading information. That's true, and it's one of the many logical fallacies that can be categorized. Let's dig into this a bit deeper. So what is the best definition of a red herring? It's a statement that misleads or distracts from an issue being discussed and leads readers or audiences towards a false conclusion. It can also be described as a seemingly plausible, though ultimately irrelevant, diversionary tactic. But where does this odd expression come from? It seems to come from a 19th century idea about training hunting dogs not to be distracted from chasing a hunter's quarry, such as a hare or fox. The idea was to drag a kipper, a smoked herring, typically reddish in color and with a pungent odor, to lay a false trail. Let's look at a recent real-life example. Imagine the eager hunting dog is now the news media, and what it's chasing and striving to catch is the truth, or at least a straight answer. Deadline day. This is the day the House Intelligence Committee wants the Justice Department to turn over any and all evidence they have that proves that Barack Obama wiretapped the phone to Trump Tower during the campaign, as President Trump has alleged. What I will say is that we're talking about a big agenda here. I know it's your show and you can talk about what you want, but there are 20 million people just last year who said no to Obamacare. 6.5 million of them paid a penalty. I mean, it isn't like something that a blogger wrote. It's something the president of the United States accused his predecessor and of it's tapping under investigation. his phone. They're happy that a health care plan that has left millions with skyrocketing premiums and no care. There are literally some people in this country, Savannah, who have an insurance card and literally can't use it. That was an example of a red herring being metaphorically dragged across the path of inquiry. Now here's another. Another important issue to people, the economy, jobs. Got a good jobs report on Friday. The unemployment rate has now dropped to 4.7%. We know during the campaign when these same, very same jobs figures would come out, the president said they were fake, the Obama administration was making them up, and they were a hope. We have less than 5% unemployment. You have CEOs coming to the White House and making announcements to unleash investments, to create new jobs. But you know that's not, not what the issue is. Issue no, is here's here's an issue of credibility. He's saying these are the... The Labor Department has been doing these numbers the same way for decades. Love them or hate them, think they're right or wrong, the process hasn't changed. The method has not changed. So the question is, where's the credibility there saying those numbers were fake but now they're real because I happen to be in the The credibility is in the, is in the $7 billion Intel took off the shelf and, and is going to unleash an investment because... If we couldn't believe what he was saying during the campaign, if he was calling these numbers fake when they were real because they're real now, where's the credibility in that? But he's also talking about things that were fake, like you can keep your doctor if you like your doctor, you can keep your plan if you like your plan. There's a lot of fakery going on for people who were promised something that never came to be. And health care is the best example of that, which is why it's his first major legislative priority, Matt and Savannah. Kellyanne, thank you for being thank here. You. We appreciate thank it. Just as a hunting dog might be taken off its original path by distracting it with a red herring, the presenter of a question or issue may also be prevented from pursuing the point further by distraction with a logically unrelated issue.